If you pick the right time to come and visit this garden and wait very quietly, you're likely to see some very beautiful guests. This is a garden for people who love everything about nature. It's in Norfolk and belongs to Lisa Goddard. As an actress, she's always been a favourite, but for 20 years she was also president of a wildlife organisation. And her husband David made the classic wildlife film, Tarka the Otter. Their garden is for sharing with any creature that cares to call. So what does this garden say about you, Lisa? Well, I hope it says variety, colour, vibrancy. But the most important thing about it is that it's my sanctuary. I had breast cancer a few years ago, 11 years ago now, and at that time the garden was extremely important because it was a place of haven and a place to heal. Lisa's garden is also a sanctuary for her rescue dogs and for a few plants that you might not expect to see in a well cared for garden. What I do like is you've got some wheat in your garden. Now that speaks of a true gardener in my opinion, oh. that you appreciate both the culture and wildlife in nature. And rose bay willow herb, I mean it's a beautiful plant and most people yank it out but look at it, statuesque, delicate, beautiful. The bees love it. Absolutely and from a weed. Yeah. No, don't pull your weeds out, please. And here, Christine, we have the herb garden. We've got some weeds in there. You've so much colour there. You know, the good old nasturtiums for your butterflies and the scented stalks. Little tip for you on the stalks. Though they're scented, they won't attract many insects because double flowers tend to be sterile, so you don't get much nectar. You see, I would have thought, because it was highly scented, therefore it would be good. No, for... not necessarily, because ah, sometimes we, with that scent, you reduce the amount of nectar that's being produced. From the herb garden, a beautiful pergola leads you through to one of Lisa's favourite spots. And this is my dragon garden. Here are the dragons. Mm. This is from my, when I'm out and about touring, I like to collect dragons. All right. To remind me of places. Adds a slight sort of devilish quality to this area, doesn't it? Yeah. The best thing of all, is the view. Isn't it just? Yeah. It must be beautiful in the evening just to come down here, have a G and T, beautiful scenery, Labradors at your feet. I mean absolutely idyllic. Perfection. The garden backs onto the banks of the river Wensum, providing perfect terrain for another of Lisa's great loves. We put up a Barnard nest box and right. within two days Mr and Mrs Barnard have moved in. And Fantastic. I know. So we see the Barnard hunting of an evening in the morning. Right. That's why it's so important that people put up nest boxes, but particularly the Barnard that's so endangered. Yeah. The nest box has saved them. It must look beautiful at night with them gliding over. Yeah. And they... just swooping in. When I was ill, my garden was so important to me then. I do think that nature is a very healing aspect for us that we need to go and just sit and be quiet and watch and just look at things growing and stop the head mind and start listening with your heart mind. So grow a garden and grow a soul. Beautiful, I love that. <laughs>